Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about finding your tribe. This is a, a phrase that's become pretty common in self-help spiritual circles, but what it really means is finding the group of people that you feel the most comfortable with, that you feel you belong with, that you resonate with. And you know, you need to be aware that this is going to change throughout your life too. When you're younger, your tribe is going to be your schoolmates, probably. You're going to have your friends there. When you get a little bit older, college friends, college roommates, and throughout your life, people that you work with are going to be your friends. Sometimes it's out of convenience because you're with them every day, but then you could form really lasting relationships that go beyond the job when you're not working together anymore. So it's something that I've always been very conscious of throughout my life, and my tribe has changed quite a bit over the years. I still have some people in my life that have been there my whole life. I have a couple of friends that I've known since I was born. Uh, my oldest friend in the world, um, his name is Jim. I met him when I was two. He was my boyfriend for 10 years when we were little, and we're still friends. And I'm still friends with twins in elementary school that I was connected with them all through kindergarten and sixth grade. We lost touch for a while and we reconnected on Facebook a few years ago and now we have dinner once a month. So they're part of my tribe now. My high school group was a huge part of my tribe for many, many years. And my best friend Marlene is still my best friend and she's, she's from my high school group. And I, well, my biggest tribe, I have to say, is probably from Capitol Records because I made so many amazing friends there and I'm still close to most of them, you know, almost all of them, even if I don't get to see them or talk to them all the time, there's still a connection there. So you're going to have people that come and go, you know, there's that whole saying of people in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And sometimes there are people who are there, they were a big part of your life for a while, and then they're just kind of in the background, but they're not gone. You're still connected to them. But usually your tribe is whoever you are involved with currently on a regular basis, if not daily, maybe weekly. And because we all grow and change throughout our lives, the people that we feel comfortable with might change too and and that's why sometimes friendships can change because people don't always grow together in the same direction and it's not bad it's just different people have different interests they have different priorities and so you it might not mesh anymore and so there's nothing wrong with just kind of taking a step back and spending more time with the people you feel more connected with but still keeping these friends because they're good people you're just kind of on a different path so that's something that's been really important to me the last couple of years because I've really been craving authentic connection with people. And it's been very different for me since I got laid off from Capitol Records in 2008 because I always had a built-in tribe. It was always like a family. It still is. But no matter what part of the company I worked in, no matter what department, that was my family. And then I still had my other family in other parts of the company. So we still feel like that, all of us. But when I was on my own and I've been working for myself and taking care of my mom, I don't have the same connection. So I was doing a lot of networking for a while and I was meeting people there and I was making some friends, but most of them were not part of my tribe. There weren't lasting connections there. And I've met people through programs I've taken and seminars I've taken and webinars and all different kinds of things that I've been involved with over the years. And there have been some people that have been new and that have become a part of my life that I feel really close to. Because obviously when you're exploring new things in your life, you're going to meet new people who are interested in the same things you are. And you might be on the same path and you might move forward together. You might connect and then again, go your separate ways. But one of the things that I was so grateful for last year was that I connected with this group of people that I really feel like, ah, oh, these are my people. I almost feel like that uh, <laughs> episode of The Twilight Zone. Um, it's called um, Eye of the Beholder, where there's this beautiful woman. She's got the bandage on her faces, and they're like, oh, we don't know what we can do. And oh, no, she's still hideous. They take the bandages off. She's beautiful. And everybody else has those weird pig faces. <laughs> and then she goes to live in a colony where there are other people who look just like her because that's her tribe, that's who she can relate to, it's who she resonates with. So we wanna find the people that we feel the most comfortable to because everybody wants to belong. You just wanna feel like you belong somewhere with people who go, yes, you are one of us. 
we love you, we accept you, you're part of our group. And it's not a clicky thing like we like you and not you. It's not that. It's just it's an, an, an inclusive feeling and you know it when it shows up. You know, I'll tell you, this is one of the reasons I left my high school. I went to a Catholic girls' school. I'm not Catholic, but we had busing going on in the area. My parents put me in private school to keep me from being bused to really far away areas. But we had uniforms, and I loved that because it gave me such a sense of belonging. Like, yes, I go to that school. I'm part of that school. I'm a Corby girl. My high school was called Corvallis. And I loved that. So that was kind of a, an element of belonging to that group that felt so good, along with my little group from high school that I, I really felt this belonging with them. So where do you feel like you belong? Who do you want to be part of your tribe, your community? And just pay attention to that. If there are people that you don't really feel connected with, you don't feel like you resonate with, you don't, that, here's the thing, when you can just totally relax and be yourself and know that you'll be accepted and loved just for you being you, that's somebody you want in your tribe. If you feel like you have to put on certain airs or put on a show or be a certain way or behave a certain way, where it's, kind of, it's stressful, it's uncomfortable, there's just always tension, worrying about what other people think, they're not your tribe. You know, you be friendly with people, but you, you don't need to include them in your inner circle because that's a sacred thing in your life the inner circle who we let in this little space here is so important and it's a really really private thing and I want you to be selective about who you allow into your circle and make sure it feels good because that's that's the most important thing you just want to be around people who make you feel good and that you make them feel good and it's just kind of a feel-good fest all the way around so who's in your tribe I think you're in my tribe if you're watching every Friday, I want to thank you for being part of my tribe and thank you for allowing me to be part of your tribe, if only through these videos. It means a lot to me. And if you do enjoy these videos and make them part of your tribe, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube and become part of the YouTube tribe. <laughs> and forward to your family and friends if you feel so inspired. And if you would like to receive these emails delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tanamarshall.com, and join the mailing list and get your free gift. So with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend, and I hope you're spending it with people that you resonate with who are part of your tribe. Just be selective and spend your time with the people that make you feel good. And I hope that I make you feel good. That's why it's called Feel Good Friday. I want to make you feel good. And you make me feel good by watching. So again, I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. See you next week.